The human brain is an amazing organ. It takes in and processes millions of bits of information a minute. It can make sense of complex patterns and ideas, and even with all the recent advancements in technology, it is still more powerful than any computer. Thousands of times more powerful. Think you've got the brain of a champion? How good are you with perception and logic? We've compiled some of the toughest and trickiest puzzles to test your skills. Let's play. Amazing! Number 10. Uh-oh. Someone wasn't using their brain and tore this shirt. Take a closer look. How many holes do you see in the shirt? That's easy. The answer is two, right? Actually, no. There are eight holes in the shirt. Surprised? Let's explain. It may seem at first like there are only two holes, but when you remember that the holes go through both sides of the shirt, you realize there are actually four torn holes in the shirt. But the tears aren't the only holes in this shirt. Factor in the holes that are supposed to be there, the sleeves, collar, and the bottom of the shirt, and you get a grand total of eight holes. Next, let's mix visual reckoning with reasoning and test your spatial logic. How many cubes make up this structure? Pause the video to calculate if necessary. The answer is nine. Only six cubes are visible, but assuming the structure exists, under the normal circumstances of Earth's gravity, in order to hold its shape, there must be at least three more cubes that are hidden from sight. Two under the back corner holding up the highest block, and one holding up the middle block on the right. Number eight. Now for testing your phonetic recognition. Read and listen to the following sentence and count the number of Fs. When I visited Phil, Finches of Japan were flying around the flourishing bonsai placed on the left of the lounge's entry. Did you get all that? Take time to read it again by pausing the video if necessary. It may surprise you to learn that there are six Fs in that sentence. You may have counted one too many or a couple too few. That's because sounds and letters don't always match up. If you were counting F sounds, you may have counted the PH in Phil as an F, and you may have missed the F in the word of, because the F in of sounds more like a V. That's English for you. It's okay if you miss this one, because missing those two of Fs, or counting the PH, is proof of your brain's efficiency. When you learn to read, you look at each letter and sound out the word. But once you know how to read, your brain doesn't really take note of each letter anymore. The brain of adept readers will recognize common words by their length and shape, rather than the letters they make up. So if an F doesn't sound like an F, you're likely to miss it while counting. Number seven. Here's a pattern puzzle to practice your perception. In this picture of ants, without counting all the ants, quickly decide which color of ant is the greatest in number. You may have thought that there are more blue ants than red and gray ones, but the different groups of ants are actually of equal number. That's because the pattern creates an optical illusion by placing all of the blue ants together in one group and leaving an empty space in the middle of it. There seems to be less red and gray ants because they are so spread out. In truth, there are 16 ants of each color. Number six, get ready for some math and geometry with this visual logic drill. Teapot A holds 32 ounces of tea. How many ounces does teapot B hold? Think about it a bit and pause this video before confirming your answer, because here it is. Teapot B holds 16 ounces, which is about half of the capacity of teapot A. It isn't the size of the pot that determines how much tea it can hold, but the position of the spout. Once any liquid poured into the pot reaches the spout, since the top of spout B reaches the height of the base of spout A, which is about halfway up the height of pot A, we can conclude that pot B can hold half the amount of tea that pot A can. Unless you forget to wash the pots and the spouts get clogged. Gross. Number five. Here are a few more tricky ones. Can you remove six of the matchsticks to make 10? Remember to think outside the box. There are 15 matches altogether, making it mathematically impossible to remove six and leave 10. But remove the right six matches and the remaining ones spell out the word 10. Number four, continuing with the trick questions. Can you find the error in the image on the screen? Again, remember to consider every angle. Don't beat yourself up if you couldn't figure this one out. It was actually another demonstration of the efficiency of the human brain. If you tried to find something wrong with the numerical sequence, you would have been looking forever. The mistake was in the sentence. Look again and you'll notice that there are two thes. Our brains are very clever and are always finding shortcuts to make processing information easier. Similar to the way your brain processes reading tasks, your subconscious mind was aware of the extra word, as well as its redundancy, so there was no need to inform your conscious mind of its existence. Number three, 
Let's go back to visual cognition. This one will test your ability to mentally keep track of information too. How many triangles do you see here? The answer is, there are 13 triangles. In this pyramid of small red triangles, remember to count the upside down white triangles created by the negative space, the three medium sized triangles created by stacks of smaller triangles, and the one large triangle that is the pyramid as a whole. Number two. This next one is probably the most complicated puzzle in this video, but with the application of a little logic and careful perception, you can figure it out. Study the image. Which tank will fill up first? Pause the video if need be. For all you impatient viewers who just want the answer, here it is. Both tank 3 and tank 4 will fill up first. Since the connector pipes leading out of tanks 1 and 2 are located at the bottom of the tanks, they won't start filling until tanks 3 and 4 are full. The exit pipe from tank 3 is located on the bottom of the tank, but connects to the top of tank 4. Remember the teapot exercise, tanks 3 and 4 will fill up simultaneously until the pressure in their connect pipe is the same. Then tank 2 will fill, then tank 1. That's a lot to keep track of. Number 1. And finally, a good old fashioned optical illusion. What word do you see here? If you answered the word evil, you're probably a pessimist, because the words good and evil both appear. Good is written in black, while evil fits the negative space in the letters that make up good. Chances are you noticed one first and then the other. Seeing both is an indication that you have excellent perception levels. Don't worry too much which one you saw first. This wasn't a personality test. How many of these exercises and puzzles did you get right? Did you ace the test? Share this video with your friends to see how they measure up. And definitely share it if you got them all right. Your brain is something to be proud of. Thanks for watching.